hi guys today I'm going to show you how to install a package using the M so let's go to the Linux first so M is a online installer by which you can use the internet to install all the applications from the Linux so at first we can see what is mean by M so let's go to the man page so if we see it is called as a hello dog update modifier and it is used as a package manager that is RPM based package manager to perform the system updates and dependency analysis and etc etc using M you can easily update a package and you can also search from the Linux repository to install a new package so at first let's see with the help of the yum what we can do so let's go to the help so these are the switches which we can use to install and update the packages so these are the list of commands at first check check is used for checking the problems in the rpm database and check update is used for checking the availability of the package updates and clean is used for removing the cache data and erase is used for removing a package and group install is used for ins installing a group of packages and history is used to display the transaction history and install is used for installing info is used for searching the package information and reinstall is used for reinstalling a package so this is used for checking the version of the yum which was installed in your system and these are some of the options that is used for checking the help messages to tolerate the errors, to suppress the errors, to run the, from the entire system cache, etc. etc. And this queue was used for quietly installing the packages. And this was very useful while deploying the package with the scripts, patch scripts. So let's work on it. So I'll open the terminal. Let's So let's see a command one by one. First we can see check update. So I'm just going to run this command and if you are going to use the yum you need to have a valid internet connection first so let's check whether I'm having an internet connection or not yeah I'm having internet connection so I don't need to worry about before installing this command so I'll just run this command so this command was used for checking the, you see, it almost finished checking the updates. And there are more and up, more updates are here. So it will take uh, more time. So Let's say I was here. So I have just got all the updates here. You can check it here. So these are the updates which uh, my system needs now, but it will take more and more time to install all these updates. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
install some packages to you I'll show you just I'm going to check Firefox update I'm just going to check the information of the Firefox if you see here install the install package was Firefox which was the version 10.0.12 and it was having a size of 23 MB but the available package version was 31 and it was a i686 architecture package and this was a x86 and 64 bit package so I just need to update the Firefox what I'm going to do is yum update Firefox that's it you see I was asking for more and more so I think it will take more and more time to update all these things so it will take more and more time to update this because all these packages needs to be installed before updating the package Firefox so it will take more and more time so I will just cancel it and I will show you how to install another software newly yeah just yum so let's search first for the package chrome so I'm searching for the chrome browser here so it does not showing for the chrome here so let's search for google so I'm not showing here So let's just search for Safari. So there is no Safari package here. So let's search for Java. So Java, you have the Java package here. and wait let's search for Firefox it was and I'm, now I'm going to install the Firefox by using the install command and so let's check what it does so it will start installing so if you see I have just given the install command here I have just given the install command now and previously I have given the update command if you see I have given the update command so this is how you will install the package in the Linux using the yum no Let's go for some package like system service package. So it is asking for the so I'll just install the open SSL here. So it will be useful for us to also I'll just install the border thing. I'll just give Y that is yes and it was starting to download the package now so it will take more and more time to download I think so because I am having slow internet connection so in my next video I will show you how to configure the open SSL for you 
and also I will show you how to configure the SSH for you to take the SSH from the host system since I am using the virtual machine here so you just don't need to open the GUI you can just easily configure the Linux using the putty like softwares so so let use repository I'll just list the package now list so it will list all the packages here so if we see here another app is currently holding the yum log waiting for it to exit so whenever you are trying to run uh, m in one of the terminals so if you are trying to use m in another terminal you can't use it because it will take some time till the process gets exit so you need to wait for this window to get closed or this process get closed before running the command in this window so it was almost finished now so I just try to run but still it was uh, I'll just make it run it will run I'm just going to give you us to install the package so it is showing warnings and you need to keep in mind that if you take a log it will be useful for you to manage the packages yeah it's computer and let's see whether this version was installed and if you see here it has listed after this command gets executed this process gets completed it has listed all these things so these are the things just installed here let's check for VSFTP no so let's check here So another process is logged in here. Let's close it now. So I think some other process was going on. Let's close it and open it again. So I think the system update was going on so I think this might be helpful for you to know how to use the yum packages and how to install an updated package using the yum in the Linux and so yum is used for
so m is used for Linux and OS Red Hat and Fedora like this package OS and AppGet is used for Ubuntu packages so you need to keep in mind that you can also install AppGet in both these Linux versions uh, but by default these two will be available in both the distortions and thank you for watching the video and for more and more videos just subscribe to my channel I just post you another video in my coming day so that it will be helpful for you to learn how to use the Linux so thank you for watching the video